<laughs> yeah, paid, paid by, by an, so you know, um, are we going to outlaw it? That's that's a really good question. Um, I, there is there is a a wider question on this about about social media and, and various things that and, and telcos and, and things like that, which kind of uh, lead to the initiation of the fraud, the app scam that then kind of goes through the banking system. Um, and, and our view on that is that there should be more to be done um, by social media firms and telcos. Specifically about pay by link, um, it's very confusing for consumers. I know it's been outlawed uh, in, in other, other jurisdictions. Um, it's very confusing for, for consumers uh, and individuals to be told never click on a link in, a, in an SMS or an email and then to be sent via other people links in emails like from banks or whatever um, and then when you don't click on it then something you know happens because they tell you that you haven't done something because you haven't clicked on the link in an email I think it's very very confusing I think something does need to be done to, to clarify what the position is on, on pay by link or at least you know those sorts of things um, I would much prefer a secure messaging service whether it be request to pay or something else um, but just generally if you're going to tell people that you know phishing attacks are links in emails and SMSs, then why would you um, send someone something to click on in order to pay some somebody? That's going to lead to a lot of kind of more app scams, isn't it? Than than without. So yes, we do need to do something about that. Um, the the PSR can't legislate as such um, uh, because we're not a legislator. So um, you know we we are like. Uh, we we, are, we have some some powers, but I'm not sure we quite have the power to ban ban pay do, pay by link, un, unlike the government, unfortunately. Um, so I think there would probably be someone else who would need to do that. But we can certainly raise the issue and the point about it in the work that we do, um, and to ex and to explain that you know we need we need to make sure that we kind of get away from phishing emails and and all that kind of bad actor nasty stuff that happens. Um, but yeah, uh, I you know I don't think we've got the power to do it, but I I fully understand the issue and I do support um, you know the narrative about you know avoiding it as much as possible. Um, so I think on our app scams work more generally, uh, there are lots of things we are looking at. I don't think we've looked fully at pay by link as as one of them. Uh, we we know broadly different different app scam types uh, UK finance collect data on the different types of scam types we know w where the kind of biggest proportion is in terms of scams um, we know we, we get data on on uh, where the kind of fraud goes to and, and, and things like that so we look at that sort of thing we have asked I think in the past for data on you know where the scam sort of originated in so you know did it originate in Facebook or you know, telco, whatever, and I think I think we we have not really got great data on on that side of stuff. And I'd be quite interested if anyone e anywhere has any information on how much pay by link has has added or has has kind of ended up as a scam. If you know what I mean, what, what's the proportion of scams that are pay by link? The the other thing about pay by link, of course, is that um, it's not necessarily going through to making a payment to a fraudster. Obviously, a lot of these phishing attacks, you think you're going to make a payment, or whatever, and then something goes wrong. But they've collected a load of details, and then you might go into unauthorized fraud because they've got kind of banking details and passwords, or um, you know, you might get a phone call saying, "Oh, you just made tried to make a payment to a, uh, you know, wh who you might have thought was legitimate that didn't go through," and then you start that conversation with the fraudster. So it might well be part of a different fraud uh, fraud typology, but um, yeah, I think we need to get away generally as a society from like having links in emails and SMSs because it's just a bad thing that kind of leads, mostly leads to, um, uh, well, there are genuine cases, obviously, but quite a lot of, of them, as you as, as I see, and I'm sure you see on a daily basis, end up kind of being phishing and, and frauds to type attacks. So yeah, I think the whole thing is kind of bad and we should probably get, get rid of it. But um, how that's done, I don't think it's a, it's, I don't think that would be, we are a payment systems regulator, unfortunately, that kind of seems to be more in a sort of telco, um, social media side of things, so that probably would be outside our competencies. But um, in terms of making people aware of stuff, that's obviously what we're doing with app scams. We, we, we are trying to prevent them. That's the whole point of the work we're trying to do. So if this is a way of preventing them, at least making people clear that this is a problem is something that we would try and do. So that is probably about as best as answer I can give to that one. But um, 
No, it was, it was a good answer. Thank you for, for, for sharing that. I mean, you know, as you're aware, other countries have done stuff. I was on the call uh, on the call earlier this week into Singapore with some government yeah. and some regulator uh, type people. And uh, the Monetary Authority of Singapore has done something very specific around SMS and, and, and email. And um, for me, it's just just perverse, isn't it? And the banks say, don't click on the link, don't click on the link, don't click on Oh, this one's OK. Don't click on the link, don't click on the link. Oh, this one's okay. It just doesn't work um, on, on much wider it, it, things. It, it, but I do appreciate your answer from the perspective yeah. of a regulator. Yeah, no, it just it doesn't it doesn't work. But it, it's not it's not just that. You know, the the fact is you can spoof um, SMSs anyway, so it looks like it's genuine from you know your mm -hmm. bank. It be be that Santander, HSBC, Lloyd's. You know, there are exactly, other more, yeah. other banks available. So, um, and that's one of the really really big problems that. You know, you've you've had an interaction with your bank, and then you get something that says "click on a link," and that's spoofed, and then that is a not genuine. But that would confuse. You know, there's this idea that yeah. a lot of these these scam types you can easily identify. I I don't think if I got something from like one of my banks that kind of came through that said, "Oh, click on this link," in a in a list of other interactions I've had with them, that I would know that's a spoofed message. And